What's going on, everybody? My name is Alec. I'm an anesthesia resident in the United States here. Uh, welcome to the channel. And today I'm going to be talking to you about three things that I did to score well on the uh, ABA in training exam and ABA basic exam. So let's get into it. <laughs> So full disclosure, first of all, uh, I'm not paid or sponsored by any of the resources I'll be talking about today. Just a huge fan. I thought they were very helpful for me, and hopefully you find them helpful as well. There's some key differences between the in-training exam and the basic exam. Um, where the in-training exam covers a lot more material um, because it covers both basic topics and advanced topics versus your basic exam, which is just basic topics. So... The material is somewhat a little bit different, but the study strategy um, is somewhat the same, I think, and that's kind of key to understand. So three things that I did to score in the 99th percentile. Uh, number one I'll talk about is probably the least important in my opinion, but good for a foundation, uh, and that is textbooks. And the three textbooks that I recommend for your CA one year would be Morgan and McHale, Miller's Anesthesia, and the uh, Core Anesthesia Part 1. Morgan and McHale and the Miller's Anesthesia textbooks are really good for kind of reference guides to kind of lay the framework out throughout your CA one year. You know, you're most likely not going to read it front to back. You have a lot going on in that year, but it's always there to kind of help you guide surgical cases throughout the day, um, your lecture series, whatever it is to help you with. Um, and in my institution, we actually, you know, we have a, a fund that we can use to buy these textbooks online or even through the library. We get them for free, uh, our virtual library per se. So for me, I, I used a lot of ebooks. I, uh, you know, ordered through my program the ebook of Morgan and McHale, and I kind of read that as needed. Um, and I thought it was useful. Moving on to resource number two. This could be one of the most important, and a lot of it you might already know, but that is practice questions. And, and practice questions are key right now for active learning. Um, it's shown to be one of the best ways to retain information. The question bank that I used was True Learn. Uh, I thought it was wonderful. I can't really speak for other question banks since I've only used True Learn, but I did just fine with it, and I think it's great as a learning tool and as an assessment tool. So starting to do practice questions from day one all the way up to these exams really helps you learn that material. And then, you know, towards the end, you can do those assessments to kind of gauge where you're at in some of the areas you need to focus on more. So big fan of True Learn. Um, highly recommend buying it if your program doesn't provide it for you. It's definitely worth it. Resource number three was flashcards. And I use an app called Anki. Um, it's free on any laptop device or PC device. However, on your mobile devices, I think it's only free for Android users. Um, if you have an Apple iPhone, um, I think it, you have, do have to pay. I think it's around $20 or something like that. But I do think it's worth it. Um, it's an app I use every day, essentially. And what I was doing while studying for this exam is uh, practice questions and flashcards. So I got the best of active learning and spaced repetition. So practice questions, I would take the explanations, make flashcards on those explanations, and the questions I got wrong, I made flashcards on those questions, and just kept doing them over and over again throughout the year while I had time in the operating room. So by the time when I got to that exam, I really solidified that information and could regurgitate it out without having to think. And you know, in these exam scenarios, you're on the clock. Having that second nature, almost not even have to think about it, really made it helpful. The biggest key to how I scored so well in these exams was doing these flashcards over and over again and doing these practice questions, essentially making my own flashcards on these practice questions and just doing them over and over again. That spaced repetition, very key. So I'll link um, the textbooks, the question banks, and my own Anki deck uh, that I created down below. Hopefully you guys will find it helpful if you're flashcard users or if not, hopefully I've convinced you to try this uh, study technique out because I think it's extremely, extremely helpful, especially in a busy 
residency year where you have a lot going on and not a lot of time for actual sit down studying per se. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything else we should talk about or any ideas or things you want to learn more about. Hopefully um, I'll turn this into more of an educational series and we'll grow together. So like and subscribe um, and just let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks. I guess I